So we will launch the Sky Shadow. First time with INAF. I don't know how this will behave. You'll find out. When we start manually and then get go afterwards. Wish me luck. Recording? Recording. Awesome wing, average speed about 100 kilometers per hour. But at the landing, I need to do some adjustments on my setup because the shit ripped off <laughs> because of the prop. So yeah, um, that's a no go. I have to fix that. I can tell you, I'm super happy. This is the first flight with INAF. Um, actually, version 1.9.1 1. on uh, Matic F405 um, standard. Yeah, with barometer and I've got the wing PDB on it. So it's the uh, FC hub wing, I guess, some sort of. Look in the description for, for the closer details. Um, it was astounding. I didn't do anything to it. I just uh, threw it. Um, threw it <laughs> and um, gave it some go. It was super touchy. I have to do more um, super more expo while doing INA. Um, I need to adjust the board alignment, of course, and for the rest, I guess the footage speaks, uh, speaks for itself. Full pace. Guys, I get harassed here. <laughs> About 30 amps if I just push the pedal to the metal with a 9 by 8 uh, inch prop. Um, speed, as I said, about 100 kilometers per hour. Um, raised up to about 130 and gliding with about 90 kilometers per hour. This is pretty awesome. Um, not so touchy in the wind because of the weight and the size. Unfortunately, on the landing, the thing happened that shouldn't happen. Because, um, you know, if you look at the last build lock, uh, I made a custom motor mount um, from plywood, which was pretty massive. Took some Uhupo and glued the dawn. And it worked perfectly for a launch and the second one. But as I have a normal prop, an APC prop, um, when you go into the landing and you just hit the prop into the ground like here, it just rips. 
And so all the force of the ground is just um, pushed into the wing, or uh, into the motor mount, which then simply just opens up and says, ooh, can't hold it, rip off. No big deal, just take some new hoopwork <laughs> and glue it on again and you're fine to go. Next thing to do is just do a, a foldable prop, so it won't um, end up in this problem anymore. And then you're good to go again. We'll take a look into the canopy for a second, uh, in a second, and look for the wirings, and I'll tell you something about the Harrier as I just wired it up. So we start in the front section. Um, you see, the GitHub F1 is in charge here, um, just with uh, Velcro and some anti slippery mat. If we open up, we see nothing but some LiPo. It's a 5200 milliamp hour LiPo. Then we have the Vankin Eagle, which sits nice and flush in here. Pretty neat. And the Medic F5, F405 standard. And of course, the wires for the twin motor engine, which is the connector here. This connects um, the power to the twin engines. And these uh, servo wires connect the same to the wing here, or can, can just be plugged to the wing to do a twin drive as you might want to do it once. Why you look here, this is a connection for the single motor, for that one, um, which really elevates the wing enormously, and I'm pretty happy with that. The wires go through here until outer wing, same for the video on the other half, which did an enormous good job. But what do we have here? We have a buzzer, see the power lines for the ESCs, um, some, yeah, that's a buzzer, and this is, I guess, s -Bus. you're right, yeah. Then we have GPS on this connector, and beneath you see the red marked pins that are the servos. As well as, I guess, I have some <laughs> VTX power below on, I think it is 5 volt. My VTX takes 5 volts. <laughs> And that sums it up for today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having uh, the time to watch our videos. And uh, we'll be seeing you next time. Stay put, stay close, stay safe, fly safe. That's it for this time. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. And meanwhile, we got some cool videos for you you might not have seen yet.